Hey guys, today I'm here with the Tobin One 18-in-1 USB 3.0 or USB Type-C Dual Monitor Universal Docking Station. First off, I would like to thank Tobin One for sending me the dock. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we have it. I really like the packaging. It's a nice sliding cover and then you have access to the box. So you just, let's just open up the lid and see what's inside. First we have this customer service team information, their email and the website. And um, this I believe is the product, so let, let's take it out. First impression, there's lots of ports. Feels very solid, it's a very solid build. More ports in the front. We'll talk about all the ports later, but it's a solid device. And we have the power cable and the adapter. I believe this is the 65 watts adapter. So let's again put that to the side. And I believe that's all in the box. Actually, that was not all that was in the box. I missed the USB type C to USB type A or USB type C cable, which also comes in in the package. It was just kind of hidden, but here we have it. Let's take a closer look at the power adapter or the AC adapter. So it's a 65 watts power adapter. And then on the other end, you have the DC port, which connects right here in the port. It's labeled DC port. And that's how you connect it for power. And let's take a closer look of the device itself. So here we have it. So on the front, we have eight ports. We have the SD card reader, one USB type C, one USB type A, three USB 3.0, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the back, we have 10 ports. We have two sets of HDMI or display port, which have resolutions up to 4K at 60 Hertz. We have three USB 2.0. We have DC port for power, one USB type C for connecting your laptop and a LAN port for faster internet connection. Right off the bat, I love the build quality. It's a very solid build. And just by looking at the product, one would say it's made by Apple or something. It has a very clean and aluminum finish with curved corners, which feels really nice in the hand. And all the surfaces are very smooth. So overall, first impressions, it's a very nice build. I really love the quality of the device. All right, time to swap out my current docking station, which is also by Tobin One. I've actually been using it for like the past eight months, which has been a great experience especially for extending my M1 MacBook Pro 14 inch to dual monitors. And so when Tobin One reached out to do a collab, I immediately said yes. So let's let's connect the new docking station and see how it goes. All right, now that I have the two HDMI cables, power, keyboard, and mice cables connected, the only thing that's left to connect is this host cable. The single USB Type-C cable, which by the way, I really like the fact that it's just a single cable that I have to connect to my Mac, which makes cable management really simple. So now I just gotta connect it to my M1 MacBook Pro and see how it goes. So as soon as I connected to the laptop, I got this allow accessory to connect, which is a good sign. Uh, the good computer is recognizing the device, so let's allow that. Here's what it looks like right now. As you can see, the M1 MacBook Pro has not been extended to the dual monitors yet. That is because we don't have the drivers installed. We need the Display Link Manager software in order to extend the M1 MacBook to the external monitors. So let's go get the software. So if you go to the Tobin One website and find the product, so the 18-in-1 docking station, and you scroll down, there are instructions to how to download and install the driver. You go to synaptics.com, then you go to products, and there you'll see display link graphics. And you go down, so you're gonna select your operating system. So I'm, uh, I'm on a Mac, so let's download the Mac one. The software at the top is the latest one, so we gotta download that. It's the Display Link Manager Graphics Connectivity software. Just gotta accept, and the software should download on your downloads folder. 
And here I have the software in my downloads folder, so I'm going to double click and start installing it. Alright, so something important to note here is that real quick we're going to get a pop-up asking us to give the software permission to record both the screen and the audio of the system. And at first I was like, this is suspicious, why do they need to record my screen? And I looked into this, This is it's completely safe, they are only using the software to extend your screen to your external monitors. They are not downloading your screen to the cloud or even on your device itself, it's only for the sole purpose of extending it to the external monitor so this part is completely safe you can allow it it's an essential part in order for the software to work so overall the installation process for the software did not take too long and as you can see we currently have the software up and running so let's take a closer look and see if our external monitors are working and in fact, the external monitors are working. As soon as I downloaded the software, the external monitors started to pop up one by one. And in addition to that, I also have my keyboard and mouse connected all to the dock and also my webcam. And they're all working right now. Everything's connected through the dock to my M1 MacBook and everything is working right now. Well, now let's talk about the pros and cons of this docking station. Starting off with the pros, there are a ton of ports. We have eight ports on the front for accessories. And in addition to that, there are 10 ports in the back out of which three of them can be used for accessories. There's three USB 2.0 on the back, which are great for additional accessories. So plenty of ports. Next, moving windows back and forth between the monitors, especially the external monitors, there are Nothing very, you know, nothing noticeable when it comes to like considering lag or anything like that. It's a very smooth transition. So overall, the software that is allowing it to be extended to these external monitors is doing a really good job. So I'm satisfied with the software, the transitions, the, you know, animations that you can see through your windows are very smooth and satisfying. Unlike most docking station, this one works for M1, M2, MacBook Pros. And the fact that it's a universal docking station, it's a one solution for both Mac and PC, so it works great on Windows, it also works great on Mac OS. And my personal favorite, it works perfect in clamshell mode, which personally I like to use my computer in the clamshell mode. I just want to focus on the external monitors and not my Mac itself. For the most part, use my setup in the clamshell mode and it works great. So far, it's a great setup for productivity. Like personally, I've been using it for editing videos, writing scripts while listening to music or talking to friends on Discord. You know, I have plenty of space, real estate, especially with the dual monitoring setup. And I also like the fact that it can also charge your laptop. So you don't need an additional charging cable to your laptop. Just that one USB type C cable from the docking station is good enough for everything. It's good for extending to the displays, charging your laptop, visual and audio. And if you wanna hook up any other additional accessories, it has plenty of ports for that. Additionally, it doesn't get too hot or anything like that. I have not noticed any overheating problems or anything of that sort. And lastly, the overall device is priced pretty reasonably well. Compared to similar docking stations, which are in the price range of $280 to $350, this dock currently is on sale for $169.99, and usually it sells for $219.99. So in terms of the price, I feel like it's pretty well priced for the range and the capabilities and the features you're getting with this device. So it's definitely reasonably priced for sure. As for the cons, Maybe I'm being a little nitpicky, but when using it in clamshell mode, let's say you've turned the system off and you want to use it the next day, it doesn't just kick into your computer and have the external monitor working right away while your laptop is still in clamshell mode. You have to open up your laptop, log in, and then the software you know, needs to recognize your external monitors. Then it will extend the monitor, which is, which is a little inconvenient for me, but maybe I'm just being a little, little picky, but that's one inconvenience I've noticed. 
And additionally, one of the main concerns with the docking station that I have encountered is the fact that it's not good for streaming content. Both Amazon Prime and Netflix will not work while using the docking station on external monitors since the software is using display sharing, which makes Amazon Prime and Netflix think that you're either recording their content or sharing their content via the internet by any means of recording. Therefore, the screen just goes blank or black when you are trying to play Amazon Prime or you know a show on Netflix, it just won't do it. However, if you are to locally download any movies on your computer or watch YouTube, or for the most part, most online videos should work, but the big ones, the big streaming services don't necessarily work. YouTube works great, your local videos will work great, any other video service outside will work great, just not the popular streaming services. So therefore, like nowadays, with streaming services being the most easy option for latest content, this docking station is not ideal for popular streaming services. So I would not recommend it if you are going to use it primarily for trying to stream your movies or shows on your external monitors. Overall, if you're like me and primarily use your setup for productivity, tasks such as editing papers, writing scripts, listening to music, or programming, this docking station is an excellent choice. It excels in productivity, featuring a compact design and a durable aluminum build, while providing numerous ports for external accessories like webcams, keyboards, mice, hard drives, memory cards, and more. The only downside is that it's not ideal for streaming content. However, personally, I don't use my setup for watching watching movies, I prefer other mediums for entertainment, such as my Samsung Tab S4 or my Anchor Nubula projector. Therefore, I can see myself using this Tobin 1 docking station as my daily driver, mainly for productivity.